compete. The gymnastics to me shouldn't even be legal. It's a sport of pedophiles <laughs> where they stunt a girl's growth and they keep them like little dolls. It's insane. I mean, this this poor woman went through all kinds of horror. The guy just molested the thousands of them. Larry Nassar. And it's so yeah. rampant mm. that no one cared mm. because it's in gymnastics. It's assumed that it's a sport for pedophiles. Like when those girls came home and said I was molested, their parents were like, yeah. <laughs> Don't you want to be a gymnast? I thought you wanted to be a gymnast. That's what it is. You get molested and, you know, you don't eat and you don't grow and you stay like you look like a little doll. You ever see these people? It's disgusting. It's disgusting when you look at them. They're tiny. They're literally this big. They're tiny little people. And, and it's not healthy at all. It's not healthy. Well, these are children now, but gymnasts, it stunts their growth. I don't know why mm -hmm. somebody that's smarter than me can explain that, but it does. And that's why pedophiles like to coach gymnastics because nobody ever grows up. This is a fact. Okay. There are some arguments that link high intensity gymnastics training during puberty with delayed growth. Mm -hmm. The theory is that young people undertaking such high levels of gymnastics training are likely to develop overuse injuries mm -hmm. and are at risk of causing stress to growing bones and growth plates. Every, we all know the gymnasts, they're all tiny. Mm -hmm. So I am, I am, I am deeply sympathetic to whatever this girl has gone through and is going through. And also <laughs> men that are doing gymnastics are just men that don't have the guts to come out of the closet. There's not one heterosexual male in gymnastics. <laughs> it's just a fact. Everyone doing gymnastics is gay. You know, the women don't have a sexuality because they're just forever children. Have you ever seen the, I'm going to get in so much trouble, but have you ever seen after they win their teams like hugging them, but it's very childlike and they have like teddy bears and stuff. It's freak shit. It's legit freak shit. If you think I'm wrong, go watch some of the old Olympics where they win. They're like. 19, you know, but they're like children and like the coach is carrying them around and they have a teddy bear. It's freak shit. It's fucked up. It's not right. It's not right. It should be banned. They should replace it with some type of twerking or freestyle dance. You know, it's not good. And, you know, I just am saying that and male gymna gymnasts are gay. They're gay men who are are unable to tell the world that they suck cock and they like to have penises in their ass or they like to put a penis in another man's ass. So instead of that, they do like the, you know, I don't know, the fucking, the, the, the parallel bar. What are they, what are these events even called? I know what they are. The, the bars. The bars. Uh, the, uh, let me see. Hold on. I mean, the, the rings. Uh, They're strong, these men, but they imagine fucking them. When male gymnasts look at each other, they want to fuck each other to death. When a male gymnast sees another male gymnast, they want to fuck each other to death. They want to rip the skin off each other. I mean, this is what it is. They want to, like, land on a cock. Like, they want to, like, do the final jump where they stick the landing. Mm -hmm. They want to stick the landing right on another guy's cock. They're gay, and that's great. I don't, I don't, I, I mean, they're hot. They're good looking men, mm -hmm. um, but they're, they're gay. And Simone Biles is, it, people are upset at her because she dropped out of the, the team cup, which again, who gives a fuck? But I would have rather if she competed and lost because I think it's funny when people phone it in. It's much better to me just phone it in. She's mm -hmm. like, well, I can hurt myself because a lot of the, the the moves I'm doing are have a high degree of difficulty, which is true. And she has the twisties. The, the twisties. We'll explain yeah. that. So the, the, the twisties. Didn't is you this... get that in golf? Uh, no, that's the yips. But you you had the yips in golf. That's why you're not on the tour. Uh, because there... you weren't mentally strong. You know that's... why? Because you're not that dumb. <laughs> no, this well, is a you. fact. Thank you. If you were dumber, you'd have like. You'd be like, Jesus said, hit the ball. <laughs> and you'd live, 
in Orange County. Just turn the brain off. Yeah, you got to turn the brain off. Yeah. You have to turn your brain off. Yeah. And you weren't able to do it mm -hmm. because you knew that that was not your destiny. Your destiny was greatness, like mm -hmm. what we're doing here. You know, so she had, studio. It's greatness. So the twist is with death. It's supposed to be like a version of like vertigo where like when she's doing a twist, then she could think she's doing a flip and then she could just land on her head and just die, essentially. So well, my argument it. is don't do any of that. Don't do any of the hard <laughs> shit. Go out there and just kind of be like Like don't you don't have to do that. Scale it back. Don't do any of the Olympic level stuff. Mm -hmm. What if she just went out and twerked on the floor in a shirt that said, I love China? I would. Do you know how much I would support her? Do you know how much I would support this woman publicly? Use, use, use any of my social capital, whatever it is, to support this woman if she said, I'm having a mental health problem. Mm. I'm going to go out. And just rip my shirt off to say, I love China. And then I'm just going to twerk. <laughs> I would be like, fuck yeah. But this is what I mean about athletes. We're, we're, we're confusing these people by telling them that they should think. And they should not. Mm -hmm. Athletes, like actors, like singers, like, you know. And, and even comedians. Like, I get it. Like, so many comics who have tried to be intelligent over the last few years have just destroyed their careers. Mm -hmm. um, we need to go back to a world where smart people can go and be smart somewhere and everybody else needs to just realize what they're good at mm -hmm. and stop trying to be an expert in 19 different things. She, This woman should not even know what her mind is doing, <laughs> truly. She shouldn't... Her success is built on her ability. She is the greatest gymnast of all time. There's no one better than her. But in order to keep that going, but she's probably getting older and she's starting to realize that it doesn't matter. See, this is what I'm getting to. But I just shut my emotions off. Mm. Otherwise, I go in, uh, with the gun and I kill everyone because that's what she's getting. Her mental health is starting to deteriorate because she's realizing that it's all for nothing. It's bullshit. Who cares? Yes, you became the goat. Yes, you became the best. But the happiest people in this country are disgusting fat sloths who've never held themselves to any standard. That's truly the meaning of life, to be little more than bacteria, which is what the majority of people are. They're just bacterial organisms just existing, right? They're mold, essentially. And this woman has tried to be great her entire life. Flips and splits and dips and twists and fucking all the time and her fucking coach is touching her and she's got to be like fuck you and she's got to deal with her family and her envious friends and all the scumbags and she's got to get great and great and better and better and better and beat this bitch and this bitch and this white bitch and the Russians got to beat the fucking Russians even though we didn't do it this time but you know those fucking dykes come over here those Russians they're not fucking around right I mean those people are literally tortured it's state policy to torture gymnast Abu Ghraib style until they're fucking great and this bitch has got to get through all of that to become the goat and then you realize it doesn't fucking matter you're not happier you're not better off that's when it starts to unravel you start to go fuck what the fuck that's when you gotta shut it off shut it off you gotta do it simone because it it if you start questioning it, if you start going, should I have done all this? Would I have been happier? Should I have just, mm -hmm. would I have, should I have, I can't believe, what do I do? What do I do now? Shut it off and do the flip. <laughs> we make our choices, Simone. We make our choices. I made the choice to do this. I didn't want to do this today. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't know that I've ever wanted to do this ever in my life, but it's what I do. I can't start thinking about it now. <laughs> Imagine that. On the way, I would drive my car off a fucking, you know, off a hill in L.A. or a fucking into a ravine or something. If I started thinking about my life, stop thinking about your life. Just do the thing that you've learned to do because we, none of, nobody gets out of this alive. It, 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 you know, and th that that's my issue. But, you know, there's... There's bad actors out there that are going to exploit this mental health shit and use it as a reason to usher in mediocrity. That bitch, Naomi Osaka, yes. who didn't want to do the interviews. Shut the fuck up. Do the fucking interviews, you dumb bitch. You know how much money you're making to play fucking tennis? 
Tennis is stupid. It's a stupid sport for racist white people, okay? And somehow you figured out a way to dominate that sport. More power to you. But shut the fuck up. You don't want to do interviews? I don't want to do a lot of shit, but I fucking do it. Enough. Stop babying these stupid fucking idiots. Truly. Enough. Kick her out. Give a fuck. Let her do something else. Go be a doctor if you don't want to do it. Like, it's just... I'm sick of hearing this shit. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to enjoy the interviews because you're supposed to sit there and forget the last one. And you forget because you're an idiot. You're dumb. You're, the reason that you fucking do well is you're dumb. It's not hard. It is, but it's not. You're a retard. Stop trying to be intelligent. What are you going to put on a lab coat and do, do gene sequencing? You hit a ball over a net and you're the best at it because you're stupid. Because you don't question why you do it. Because your body is your temple. Your mind, your mind, the body just wants to compete. Give it that endorphin rush. Stop trying to think. You're going to ruin your life. Do you know how many people I've seen ruin their life because they think? People sitting in marriages, they go, you know, I actually don't think this is. And then they're, it's worse. Then they get divorced. And on the other side of that, it's worse. You know, I'm just, uh, I, I just, I've, I've had enough with the mental health. My mother is a legit mental patient. She's in a fucking mental institution. She, she's fucking crazy, okay? And do you know what genuinely mentally ill people think? They think they should be in the Olympics. 